We can really learn a lot from asking the question, what is it that people outside the United States think about Americans? In the case of Japan in the 1850s, we actually have a pretty decent idea. To help us look a little deeper into these questions, we've made a trip over to the National Portrait Gallery, where we're joined by Wendy Wick-Reeves, who is a senior curator for prints and drawings. And Wendy has a particularly interesting little piece for us to look at today, so I'm pretty excited. So Wendy, what have we got? We've got a portrait here of Matthew Perry, Commodore Matthew Perry, in a small printed Japanese volume. Oh, wow. A very, very charming little work. It's so delicate. When Matthew Perry's ships, black ships, sailed into the Bay of Edo, the Japanese were in for a very big shock. The Japanese shoguns had very successfully maintained an extremely strict isolationist policy for over 200 years. Wow. So they really didn't know much at all about Western life or culture. And he had a very shrewd strategy that was kind of a combination of threats and bluster <laughs> and gifts and parades and, and spectacle banners and military bands. Wow. Very effective for the Japanese. So he came prepared. He knew what he was he doing. He knew what he was doing. He was successful in, in landing on Japanese soil mm -hmm. and presenting the, a letter from the American president, Mr. Miller Fillmore. And then he, his ships left, came back in a few months, and he signed the first treaty that began the process of opening up Japan for trade. This little book kind of documents that historic moment. Okay. It's got a lovely title, a very poetic title. Mm -hmm. It's called A Basket of Fallen Leaves from Abroad. Isn't that beautiful? It's wonderful. So it's a, a collection of impressions from the American visit. The Japanese commissioned various artists to go and document everything they could find <laughs> about the American ships mm -hmm. and the things that the Americans were bringing. One of my favorite pictures is the double page image of the, the black, black ship. ship. Now this is Isn't the that Susquehanna. Strong. The Japanese had never seen steamships like this and the belching smoke coming out of them. They must have been absolutely amazed at yes. this. So this is really a wonderful image of the ship that Perry himself was on. There is also documentation of musical instruments, this is the, so beautiful. The, the uniforms, hats, weapons. Which don't look anything like we would probably have drawn our own uniforms. And they're not always accurate. Yeah, well, there's that. And finally, we have a wonderful portrait here of yes, we do. Matthew Perry. He's depicted with his son on the okay. facing page. But this is the Commodore himself, a man of great dignity. And I thought it might be interesting to, to show you a lithograph based on a daguerreotype mm -hmm. that shows Matthew Perry. There really is a wonderful, curious resemblance. Yes. The downturn of the mouth, the shape of the nose, the bushy eyebrows. And um, even in this just um, head and shoulders portrait, you really get to get a sense of his kind of barrel-chested bigness. You know? Yes, and his kind of dignified demeanor. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So we definitely have the Japanese viewpoint here, mm -hmm. um, but we, get, do. we get, do get the feeling that um, this was a remarkable moment of exchange. Um, yeah. It really changed commerce on the American side, and it made an enormous difference on the Japanese side as well. What we always like to get at the Portrait Gallery is a, is a portrait that really gives us a great context, that really tells mm -hmm. a rich story about the sort of arc of the life and, and the yeah. importance of this person's achievement. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's so wonderful about this little Japanese book is that it really gives you the context. Well, Wendy, thank you so much for joining us today. It's not often that we get to uh, take a look at objects that are not from Americans in the first place, but really have so much to say about our history. So thank you very much for joining us. It was a pleasure. Thank you for coming over. Excellent. And thank you all for joining us again. Stay tuned for our next episode.